Hi, I'm Philip, a software engineer from the Chrome team, and this is Interop 2022. This is a joint effort between browser vendors to deliver new in-demand features and to fix problems with widely used features that web developers often struggle with. This is unique in the history of the web. It's the first time we've all agreed to a public benchmark for interoperability with a total of 15 focus areas. And by the way, interoperability, or interop for short, means that features work consistently across browsers, that you don't need workarounds or polyfills. That's the goal. You might also call it browser compatibility or simply browser support. Web developers often tell us that dealing with these differences between browsers is one of the most frustrating and time-consuming things they deal with. We hear you, and this is important for us browser vendors to get right. For Interop 2022, representatives of all major browser vendors came together in the Web Platform Tests project. Web Platform Tests is a huge test suite for almost all of the web's features, but in this effort, we picked a subset of those to focus on. When evaluating proposals, we looked for evidence of web developer needs. We considered web developer surveys like State of CSS and the MDM Browser Compatibility Report. We also considered the usage of each feature and how many bugs there were. Weighing everything together, we picked out our focus areas. Let's take a quick look at some of them. CSS Grid is a core building block for modern web layouts, replacing many older techniques and workarounds. And Subgrid makes it possible to align items in nested grids to a parent grid. For example, in this card layout, each card has a header and footer aligned with the adjacent card's headers and footers, even though each card has an independent grid. Subgrid has been available in Firefox for a long time and is now coming to all browsers. And new viewport units. According to MDN research, web developers struggle with viewport sizing issues. These new units will make it easier to create layouts that fill the visible viewport on mobile devices while taking the address bar into account. For example, to ensure all of the content is visible, even if the address bar is showing, you can use the SVH unit, meaning smallest viewport height. The web is also getting new color spaces and color functions in CSS. Support for new color spaces will make it possible to take advantage of wide gamut displays that can show more vibrant colors and gradients than RGB. New functions like color mix add a convenient way to mix two colors, like red and blue, to get purple. This has long been possible with preprocessors like SAS and is now becoming native to CSS. Other focus areas include fonts, flexbox, grid, form elements, the dialog element, scrolling, transforms, and more. All in all, we have 15 focus areas, all backed by tests. For more details and the progress in all browsers, check out our Entrop 22 dashboard in the link below. That's all for Entrop 2022. But we're already planning for the next iteration of this effort called Entrop 2023. Again, the goal is to improve the interoperability of the web platform, especially in the areas that web developers struggle with. We will open up for proposals in mid-September, and if you have thoughts on what most needs fixing on the web, we would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and please keep an eye on the web.dev blog and our social media channels for an announcement.